Hello guys, my name is Tara from Tara Arts Movie and welcome to another exciting 3D Studios Max for beginner tutorial and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to create a scenery in 3D Studios Max alright so let's get started the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to create geometry and make sure it's standard primitives and you're gonna create a plane so in this perspective view a plane and don't forget to right click on the perspective here and click edged faces so check that so you can see the segments and then you're gonna bring the segments up for like uh, 20 or so alright and then you're gonna right click on the plan here right click on it and convert to editable mesh then we're gonna go to polygon and then go to soft selection right here and we're gonna use soft selection and you can um, pick polygon and then you can set fall off kind of wide pinch and then you're gonna click select and move and move it up to create a mountain or hills or etc so just like so There you go, and then so we're gonna create another plan for the water, and then just move it down a little bit. Okay, so there you go. It's an island with a water in it, and then the thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna add some material. You can go here, material editor, material editor. <laughs> Or you can just press M on your keyboard. So press M means material, and then you're gonna go here, and then you can. Um, oh yeah, before that, you're gonna go here first from standard. You're gonna change it to top and bottom. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's look okay. So you can put uh, two materials in one object. So click here and click here. You're gonna go to bitmap. Uh, we're gonna go to my computer, local disk C, program files, <coughs> uh, Autodesk, 3D Max, and maps. And we're gonna search for ground. So let's say for this one is um, grass. Put it to the uh, <coughs> land. Show standard map and free report and you can turn off the edge faces to see how it will looks and set the tiling up so it gets smooth and there you go don't forget to go to maps and left click and drag it to the bump click ok set the bump up so if you render this as you can see pretty good alright so go up and the second material is actually a sand and I'm gonna set the tiling of the sand up a little bit okay and go up and make sure you blend it as you can see right here position just like that so if you render this we we'll blend alright so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the second material and you're gonna create a material for the water alright so make this specular level up a little bit glossiness down a little bit and then the opacity maybe around um, 15 and go to maps and the bump here set the non to noise so to create a nice ripple the water and set this to the plan as you can see it already create a nice looking water if you render this by press F9 you can see that alright you don't forget to go to reflection and from the non here you're gonna choose ray trace so it will reflect the um, <coughs> it will give some reflection maybe about 43 or so alright so uh, 
you already uh, create some land here and you can go to rendering environment and now this is for the background actually now bitmap we're gonna go to oops sorry I'm gonna go to skies for the background let's say this one alright so if you render this by press F9 as you can see it already got the background <coughs> alright so the next thing you're gonna want to create is uh, we're gonna change from standard primitives to AEC extended and then foliage so there's a lot of tree here I pick this one and put it here go to modify maybe 20 shrink it down oops too small <laughs> like a hobbit tree <laughs> all right that's it that will be enough all right there you go so that's a tree with the land and so all right so if we render this as you can see it quite good so you can create another scenery which is more neat and more more good more better than this so just a quick tutorial for the standard so you can understand what what to do all right so the next thing we're gonna do go to light and we're gonna create standard light omni and don't forget to uh, <coughs> check the shadows on I'm gonna set this to area shadows maybe shadow parameters the density down and there you go place it wherever you want and move it up in the front view here move it up Oops. and if we render this again as you can see it already got a shadow and etc it looks good alright everyone so that is a tutorial to create a simple scenery you can create another uh, cool scenery like a mountain or anything you want basically by this tutorial <coughs> so yeah let me start from Tar Arts movie if you find it useful please subscribe and add me as friend if you are not my friend and uh, see you in the next tutorial so yeah